All right, so I'm going to chat with everybody for a few minutes, <clears throat> and then we're going to get Jeremico on. I want you to hear from Jeremico. Um, what I want to talk to you about is building. Um, sales is fun. I love it. I wrote $29,000 this week. I love it. I love it. I love it. I love it. But let me tell you something. I got potentially upsetting yet completely liberating news to share. It's potentially upsetting, but it's completely liberating. Here it is. You're getting older. <laughs> You're getting older. We all got older this morning. Hey, if we're fortunate, we'll all wake up tomorrow and get older again. You're getting older. I, you won't be able to sell at the level you're selling at. Does that make sense? So why, what, what, what's reason one to build a team? Security, man. It's the best disability policy you got. When, when, Holly, when Holly went through three back surgeries in one year and I wasn't able to focus on the business like I needed to, guess what? My income didn't take a, it didn't take a miss. Didn't, didn't, miss. Didn't, didn't, didn't take a miss. Didn't take, didn't take one single miss. That's why you got to build a team. Build a team for security. For security, you don't know what the future, remember how we sell insurance because we don't know what the future holds? <laughs> Guess who else's future you don't know what the future holds? Yours. <laughs> so you better build a team. You better get going. I love sales. I love it. I love it. I love it. I've been so re-energized going back into the field, just, just loving it. I mean, in the month of January, understand, I'm going to make six, I, I, in the month of January, I will have cash flowed six figures through selling and my team. I'm telling you, build a team, build a team. Did I have a big chunk of personal commissions in January? Yep. But build a team because you don't know what the future holds. So number one, security, build a team. It's the best disability policy you can have building a team. And the cool part about the team building thing, <clears throat> it's like professional golf. You can play it forever, <laughs> right? You can play it forever. You might look at what we do like professional golf. You might be brand new to the team and you're you're playing in one of the one of the lower <laughs> one of the lower leagues. If you're just getting going, then you turn into a pro. You can play the pro, you can play the pro PGA tour for a long time. And then guess what? They got the champions tour. They used to call it the senior tour. Now it's the champions tour. So some of my friends that are older, I'm not calling them seniors anymore. I'm calling them champions. You're in the champions league now. You're on the champions tour. You ain't old, you're on the champions tour. I'm telling you, build a team for security. Build a team for security. Here's the other thing about building a team. The economics of it, you can't beat. You cannot beat the economics of building a team. Why do you think Brandon Beal invests so much in finding new agents? It's not because he doesn't know what to do. It's because he's smart. He knows. And Brandon writes some whoppers. Y'all know that. Like uh, he had one, pop, one policy itself in January, 70,000 bucks. He writes some whoppers. But he's smart. He's smart. He knows we makes a whole lot more money than me. We makes a whole lot more money than me. So that's why he and that's why he takes his personal commissions and he invests it in building a team because he's smart. He knows I need to build a team. I need to build a team and build a massive team. And, and that's why he invests. He knows the economics of it. So the economics of it are this. Think about this. If you wanted to get that mailbox money, if you want to get that mailbox money, I was talking to a client about that. This is actually the one I'm writing nudie on this afternoon. <clears throat> they were trying to get mailbox money by buying, buying, buying crap whole houses, getting them put back together and then getting them rented. And she was just saying how frustrating it is. By the time they get it rented, dad gum it if the you know rent renters don't tear everything up. Dad gum it if there's not a leak in this one. Dad gum it if there's not. She's like, this is this, this mailbox money is about to kill me, is what she said. And I said, this is why I build a team. I don't know if I'm going to recruit. I don't know if they're going to join or not, but I'm just told this is why I build a team. This is why this is why what we do is magic <laughs> because it's mailbox money without tenants. <laughs> and you can't beat the return. You hire one person that starts writing 10 grand a month and all you get is a 10 point spread plus glow. You know how much that is a month? You know how much it is a month? 1800 bucks a month that eventually is going to be coming in. How many rental houses you got to find to clear $1,800 a month? How many? I know how many. <laughs> Andy and I used to invest a lot in property. <laughs> mm. Nothing, there's no return 
There's no return like building a team. So first of all, security. Gustavo will tell you. Gustavo will tell you. I, I love Gustavo and Mercedes. They're two of the most inspiring people I know what they fought through. Gustavo will tell you 100% what they went through would have been a would have been a way easier with a massive team. That's why that's why he's pouring it on and building this year. That's why he's that's why he's going AM no matter what happens. Come heck or high water, I'm going AM this year because he gets it. So security. Then second, the economics. You can't beat the economics of it. There is no ROI like building a team. That's why I'm that's why I'm in the field personally, by the way. I want to inspire and I want more cash to put back in the business. To put back in the business. We're pulling the trigger on some recruiting stuff this week that's gonna be crazy. <laughs> if it doesn't crash and burn, I'll tell you what I'm doing. <laughs> I'm willing to take some. I'm willing to take a hit. I can afford to take a hit before I get you involved in something. So I'm gonna. I'm. We're pouring money in. Pouring money in. What we're doing. Um. I'm telling you the economic. Why? I'm not dumb. I'm not dumb. I've got lots of money. I, I've made lots of money. I've got. I've got. I've, even if everything messed, it was crazy about the alliance, man. I got that the the premium finance deal that Andy did, and he wants to do again. I I got that. I, I'm I'm not dumb. I've got I've got money in all different places. I know what the best investment is. It's building a team. It's building a team. That's why I'm investing like crazy. So security, economics, let me hit you with number three, fulfillment. There's nothing as fulfilling as leadership. There's nothing as fulfilling as leadership. It, just getting to be a part, getting to play a part in watching Brandon and Ashley build their legacy. And you say you've been talking about Brandon and Ashley a lot lately. Dude, I'm just still so touched by that Thursday night at National Committee at uh, NatCon. I just I, I get goosebumps thinking about it. And knowing that he's he's texting Brian Adams and Brian Adams is texting back. I mean, guys, just watching that develop. And what, what me and Andy were talking about Jeremiko last night on the phone. We were talking about how proud we both are of the stuff that has been coming out of his mouth. I mean, just, just, and, and Holly's going, man, it's, his, it's amazing to see his journey. Like he, the, the leadership, you know what I'm saying? That, that, that the things he says, and it's like, God, he's a leader, man. Just seeing my buddy Soto, I love Soto so much. Love Soto. Excuse me. I was, hang on. I was trying to get my Chick-fil-A in between, <laughs> between, between find out how much my client's mom weighed and how tall she was and then Evan finishing. So I'm, I'm dying here. Excuse me. <clears throat> um, my buddy. So I love Soto watching, wa watching him that, that, that when he went from nothing to DM qualified DM like that, getting to watch, getting to coach that. Oh my God. Get, get, getting, getting to be in the tough moments with people. I still remember where I was. I was in South Florida. We had just got, gotten back off a boat. I was on a dock talking to Mercedes when Gustavo got the, got the diagnosis. That was tough, but you know what? God, it fills my heart to, to get to be a part of that. And then to get to watch their journey. Oh my God. The, Hutch, dude, when I met Hutch, like it, being an electrician's assistant, and you know, an electrician's assistant does the nasty stuff that the electrician don't want to do. That's why the electrician's got the license. <laughs> I got the license. I don't get down in that anymore. <laughs> That's your, he was doing, that's what he was doing with a bad back and everything. And now seeing his life and just getting to play a part in that process and getting to coach and to help. And I just, God, I mean, the, the, their house on Pax Mountain is amazing. And now it's not just Hutch, it's, he's got the family. It's, it's just, so here, and I'm going to keep naming names, but I'm going to go, I'm, 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 if I didn't name your name, I, I just know I love you. I just, I can't name all the names. The time would fail <laughs> if I tried to name all the names. The fulfillment, you can't beat, you cannot beat the fulfillment. So why build a team? Security, the economics of it are mind blowing, but those are all secondary to me to the fulfillment, the fulfillment piece. Getting to, get, getting to help build leaders is, God, I mean, that's my passion. Ask Holly, ask Holly. I don't even watch how much money goes in the bank account each week. I know at the end of the month, I'll be like, babe, how much go? How much went in this month? She'll tell me. I don't even watch that. That's not that is that is not important to me. 
<laughs> not important to me. It ceased to be important to me. The fulfillment piece is the piece I love the most. And I'm telling you, you will love it the most. So why wait? Why wait? People say, if you had one thing to do over in the Alliance, Stephen, what would you do? My one thing is I would have recruited with more violent enthusiasm earlier, <laughs> with more fur, with more fire. I would have turned over more rocks earlier. That's what that's that's the only thing I would have changed. That's the only thing I would have changed is I would have gone harder, faster, sooner on building a team because of the security, because of the economics, because of the fulfillment. And the economic piece you could attach under there, the freedom, the freedom, the freedom you have when you build a team. Sales is fun, especially when you don't got to do it. I'm having a blast selling because I don't need a dime of the commission. That's why I'll say crazy stuff like, your cousin got more money than Warren Buffett? Because <laughs> Warren Buffett's a fan of annuities. And she said, yeah, no, my cousin, yeah, no, he don't make no money. Well, okay, let's do it. Let's go. F and G. Accumulator plus seven. Let's rock. Let's go. Let's get it done. I'm having a blast selling because I don't need a dime of the money. <laughs> Holly, said, Holly said, you seem so much more relaxed in the sales now than when we first started the alliance. I was like, that's because that's because every appointment was life and death because I needed to, I need this $550 more, than you know? Like, and now it's just like, ah. <laughs> and, and ironically, I'm putting up better numbers. <laughs> not caring i'm putting up better numbers build a team build a team build a team don't wait don't put it off let me tell you something then is just another mile marker on the way to never then is just another mile marker on the way to never in other words i'll do it then i'll do this then i'll start getting up 30 minutes earlier then it's just it, hey i'll say i love you then it's then is just a mile marker on the way to never so let's stop messing around. Let's build a team starting right now, right now, right now, this weekend, right now, right now, now and right now. It's the only time you got. The way the way most people operate their lives, I'm like, God, they must really, they must really think that they're different <laughs> than the rest of us who aren't promised tomorrow. They must really think they're different the way they operate. They operate like they got plenty of time. Like they're gonna get to it. They'll get to it, man. <laughs> you ain't got time, man. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go now. Let's go now. Let's start building a team this weekend. Now, what do we do? Well, number one, the number one way to build a team is through the people you know. Last month on the boot camp, I said, take your cell phone. There's a million dollars in there. There's a million dollars in your cell phone. Million dollars in there. Just a million dollars sitting there. Just got to get it out. Got to get it out because the people you know and the people you know know. And the people you know, no, no, no. And the people you know, no, 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 no. It's called network. I had a guy one time said, oh, oh, Stephen, uh, this feels a lot like network marketing. I'm like, brother, the whole world is network marketing, man. Go get you a job somewhere. <laughs> Who's your boss going to hire? He's going he's to hire. He's going to hire people to work with him. It's, you know, it's the whole world's network marketing, man. Just forget about it. But let me tell you something. It's not, it's not us. It's the way the big insurance companies work too. Hey, when Mutual of Omaha needed a CEO, they didn't run an ad on ZipRecruiter. <laughs> Everybody's scrolling through the Facebook job, job marketplace. Oh, oh. Uh, CEO for large international Midwest-based life insurance and banking firm. Hmm. Well, let me apply to that one right there. No. Guess who got a job? Someone who knew someone. When Foresters hired their new CEO, guess who got a job? Someone who knew someone who knew someone. When CFG hired Fosbury as their CEO, how do you think that went down? Somebody worked with somebody that worked with somebody that knew somebody. It's how the world works. The, the best people are too busy working to be looking and never we didn't turn insurance ad. And you say, wait a second, Stephen, I answered, I answered insurance. I answered a newspaper ad. Okay, I hear you. I hear you. That's cool. That's cool. That's cool. I did too. But me and you are exceptions. The rule is the best people are too busy working to be looking. Hutch would never have answered an insurance sales ad. He was working as an electrician's assistant. A, a guy I knew that I hired wrote a policy on Hutch's brother. That's how we met Hutch. Yeah. Soto. How to meet Soto. A guy knew a guy who knew a guy. Look at look at Soto's team. How did Soto find Beal? Soto went to college with a guy who knew Beal. 
How does Soto find Heater? Soto, new Heater's brother, who, believe it or not, is taller than Heater. I, 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 Heater, Austin was so kind. He took our family with him and Monica to uh, Harlem Globetrotters because uh, his brother plays on the Washington Generals. Um, and I was like, I got to see this. I got, I just, I can't believe anybody's taller than Austin Heater. Dad Gum, if his brother's not taller. Um, that's how he hired Heater. And we could keep going. We could keep going. We keep going. We keep going. Keep going. How would I hire Dinah Castile? Uh, we go back to the same crappy apartments. <laughs> back, back when we was both broke. <laughs> same crappy apartments. I'm telling you, the people you know and the people you know and the people you know know that's. And, and I'm telling you, if sometimes people go, I haven't talked to this person in 20 years. Even better. Even better. If you haven't talked to them in 20 years, they don't know all the stuff you've screwed up in the last 20 years. For all they know, you're already a massive success, right? And guess what? They'll feel honored that you remembered them. They'll feel honored that you remembered them. So that's the number one way to build. The people you know, the people you know, and the people you know, no, no, no. All right, number two, the people you happen upon. It's called familiar. You see a sharp person and you go, you look familiar. And you strike up a conversation. People say, how do I do that? How did you meet all the people in your life currently? <laughs> I mean, unless... All the people in your life currently are all hostages. <laughs> you met them. They like you. You like them. Does it make sense? So it's the same thing. When you're out running appointments, when you're traveling, you see someone sharp, introduce yourself. You look familiar. What do you do for a living? That's how, that's how Andy Riddle found Chris Long. That's how Andy Riddle found Chris Long. Japanese steakhouse sitting next to each other. Striking up a conversation. You know, Riddle's aggressive, right? You know, Riddle's Riddle is uh Riddle wants Riddle, Riddle wants to be partner worse than you could possibly imagine. He's he's been like that. He's been aggressive. He's 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 relentless. He sees a sharp couple like Chris and Courtney Long, and he, he says, I'm gonna get to know them because I think they might fit into my plans. <laughs> Does that make sense? And the funny thing is, Chris Long was in a multi-level uh selling, I think it was. So I was selling vitamins and shakes and whatever. He saw Andy Riddle at the same Japanese steakhouse and thought, hmm, <laughs> I think he would be good in my network marketing business. <laughs> They're recruiting each other. <laughs> That's how people with ambition operate. People with ambition don't operate in a vacuum. They operate in a very purposeful way. That's the top two ways. And you say, well, what else can I do? You can run ads like me and Beal, but... God, you, don't do that until you have exhausted everyone you know and everyone you know, know, and everyone you know, no, 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 and everyone, no, 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 no. Don't just keep rocking that, by the way. Keep rocking that. I got, I got, here's how, here's how ambitious I am at this particular chapter in my life as I want to go partner more than you could possibly imagine. I'm bringing out my old high school yearbooks from Smoky Mountain High. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I, I put my money where my mouth is. Those are the top two ways. The third way you can't run ads, I'm telling you though, it's just not going to be as good as the people you know and the people you know and the people you know know and the sharp people you see when you're out and about. So that's my talk on building. I'm telling you, to talk, engage with me. Engage with me. Wednesdays and Thursdays are my days where I'm, I'm focused in the field Monday, Tuesday, Friday, and then Saturdays, Wednesday, uh, Wednesday and Thursday. I'm focused on building depth. I'm doing a call every uh, Wednesday at 11 a.m. You're more than welcome to join. It's for my directs. We call it the round table. Um, you're welcome to join. It's just a time for me to coach and get with people that are direct, but come join us there. Um, but those are the two days that I'm building. So talk to me, get on my calendar, text Omar. I want to, I want to help you, but I promise you, if you get on my calendar, it's, it's time to go, right? If I'm, if I'm, I'm, I'm happy to help, but you got to start building like crazy. I'm telling you, I will do everything I can. And five years from now, you look back and you're and your cash flow in a hundred to 120,000 a month. And you'll go, man, I'm glad I started building, man. I'm glad I remember clear as day. It was February 6, 2021. And I said, I'm going to build from here on out. And I started that Saturday and I made a list of the top 20 people I know. And we started building. Let's make that this day. And then let's keep our vision open, looking for the people, looking for the sharp people. I'm doing it. I'm out there. I'm, I'm doing the same thing. Let's go. Hey, one thing I do want to plug before I get Jerbico on, Monday message, Monday message, Monday message, 1 p.m. East Coast time. I need you on the Monday message. We have brought on so many new lead sources. 
that I can't even keep them all straight. <laughs> so I said, I need some help <laughs> to keep this straight. So I got Chris Hill on the Monday message to talk to me <laughs> about all the new lead types. So if you want to if you want to learn what I'm trying to learn on Monday, come join us on the Monday message. I want you to learn all the new lead types that we got. We got so many lead types. Oh my gosh. Chris Hill continues to impress me. Dr. Chris Hill, man, um, continuing to, he is aggressive in finding more opportunities for us. So wanted to plug that. All right. Now, let me tell you something. The eight steps are the easiest, the, they're easy to discount, which is why you know that they can make you millions of dollars and why they can make you happy, and why they can make you successful. All the stuff that makes us successful is just as easy to discount as it is to do. The eight steps are vital. Here's how much I believe in them. That's what I'm saying. Stay on and, and, and grade thyself. How am I doing on a scale of one to 10 on each of these? Because there's something in the eight steps that, that you're not doing that you could do better that's holding you back. Is holding you back. People say, I feel held back. The only thing holding you back is yourself, brother, sister. The only thing holding you back is yourself. How, how good am I on these eight steps? Because I'm telling you, this is how I made 240000 my first year. I was a disaster. Absolute disaster. I followed the eight steps, made $240,000 my first year. This is how I made 680000 my second year. It's how I made $1.2 million my third year. These eight steps work. I was talking with a guy, and I'm going to end on this story. I was talking with a guy at a, at, a, at a training, at a boot camp, and he's telling me how hard this is and how I don't understand how hard it is. And I said, brother, listen to me. I'll put you on salary immediately. But if I put you on salary, I get to keep your future commissions. And if I put you on salary, it's going to be like a job where you got to do certain things. Here's that certain things, the eight steps. Here's exactly what he said to me, Jeremiko. He said... <laughs> Well, if I do all eight steps, you're going to make a lot of money on the commissions. <laughs> ah! What you going to do? What you going to do? What you going to do? You can't push a parked car, but uh, even he got it. Does that make sense? So on all these things, don't, I'm, I promise you, fight the tenants that go, yeah, 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 yeah. You won't find rich people go, yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> You won't find rich people to do that. You won't find happy, but yeah, 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 yeah. You won't find you won't find rich people. Go, oh yeah, I I just fixed that. 